Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4, Kaiserik as uh, Ching. Let's continue on from last left off. We have done it. I did not think that the day would arrive. Delete, I don't know where your where yellow army is going. You're just going on the border with these guys. I don't know how many troops they have. But the fact that we actually managed to defeat the Japanese... From the brink of destruction. I do need a lot of... We can claim council rights. I can claim the Chinese Sea. But I don't know if I really want to claim the Chinese Sea. But I kind of want to just annex the territory in the future. So you're taking Pyongyang. Let's take Seoul and take Busan. Tr Again, we're trying to make the event fire where Japan realizes, hey, we're no longer a major power anymore. Which I think perhaps at some point. I just don't know what point that is. I'm hoping that our AI allies can kind of clean up all these small little pockets. But just what a beautiful, beautiful day to be Chinese. Um, The thing with Japan, though, is like we definitely can't <laughs> navally invade. Mostly because we did lose our entire navy, which does hamper invasion efforts substantially, I would say. Um, I do got transmitter troops around here. I mean, you might as well try to push your way through just because you can. Try to do a handful of combats. If they get into a naval base, that's where it gets more dangerous. Okay, take Seoul, take Busan. Usually it's just take X victory points is a good way to uh, make this work. Um, it is 1940. I mean, it's almost 1942. Let's get an industry tech. Because we're actually uh, outdated on those, surprisingly enough. I don't see any Japanese troops quite yet. Blue army and orange army just kind of attack. Be very aggressive in your battle plans for now. And of course, yellow, your job is to push your way into Transmir. You shouldn't have any major issues. Like, there's so many Japanese troops just kind of around. Let me see. Is there any... I mean, you can make some combats here. You go here. Like, you go here. You might as well fight this guy just because you're in the neighborhood. And you know what? Yellow army, you can also attack once you get to your uh, battle stations. I don't know why I said battle station. Just saying, like, front lines probably would have worked just as well. Make your way to Busan as well. This should be cleaned up. I really don't, um... I don't think there's anything Japanese can do at this point. I think... Japan, I mean, they still have a million manpower, but I have like six million, so I mean, we can, we can play this game all day. And I think I would still come out on top. Allies are making some good moves. You can probably just take Vladivostok. You can probably move your way to this city. And Yellow Army, I think you can probably make your way straight to there. And if we can get those three cities done, that should just get transmitted to capitulate as well. Because you're basically dead. There's no reason to try to risk. Because even if they're all like here, like even if they combine all these smaller armies, they're still encircled. They don't have port access or anything like that. Hunan clique wants troops back. I don't. Do any of you guys have major Hunan units? Uh, mostly green. Yeah, it's green and purple and they're kind of the mean they mean the least to us so I'm really not too concerned about that yeah we've taken a lot of off stock how division you might as well go to take here you're gonna be their capital uh, their new capital in three days will that be enough to kill Transmir I don't think so I think they need slightly more than that Yeah, please go here. Yeah, 
you go, you return back to Vladivostok. You did reinforce your capital. Of course, it's not really what we wanted. You're almost in Busan. Korea is almost ours. I mean, they do, they do have a handful of troops still left. Again, I'm only wanting to take these cities just because I assume this is what creates the event for them to kind of just, like, go away. But there's still a chance that it doesn't. Because we might need to also kill Transmere. I'm not too, too sure. Or they gotta own no provinces in, um... Like, are you... You're in a faction, right? Yeah, you're the Crow Prosperity Sphere. Yeah, let's make some random invasions into uh, the middle of the country. Chairman Baldemore. Okay. I, I don't think that matters to me at all. I don't want to lose Vladivostok. You're about to take Busan. You've got to make your way to here. You've also got to make your way to here. I don't want this guy taking attrition for no reason. The Fading Sun. We succeeded in pushing Japan out of the mainland. While well, they Noto tried to counterattack, the major blow to them. They need, to they need to fully control Korea and Vladivostok in 170 days. So we have... That is half a year, I think. I think they need to control all three as well. As long as we can control all of Korea and hold it, we are in a beautiful position. We do have some factories. Uh, let's go five on you, five off view, and then go for some artillery production. How about you spread out like that? You spread out to here. Taking random provinces is fun. Is this this connect? I might need to take you out. It's risky, but you're going to die if I don't move you. I mean, you know, and you also don't fully control Vladivostok. As long as we can actually just hold our current position, we're still going to be A-OK. -okay. Uh, you did get surrounded, which is not ideal. Have taken Busson. Which means that basically none of you guys really have supplies anymore. Yeah, Japan? It was, it's was. it been nice knowing you. What if I just like kill all of you? Because there's a chance that this is just the majority of the, uh... This might be every Japanese troop is right now in, uh, China. Or I guess more specifically Manchuria. By the way, if you can just, uh, once you're done with that, counterattack and take Vladivostok back from them, that would be ideal. You come here, split the country in half. One of you should just go take their other city. Because they need... All of them. Yeah, they need every single one. And I know for a fact, there's no way in hell they're taking back uh, all of this territory. It's just, it's just not possible. I don't like how you guys are moving around like this. It's extremely risky. But I guess it's like, it's acceptable. Eh. Kind of. Not really. I can demand, I, I'm not going to demand rights. Because again, we are going to just invade the legation cities at some point in the future. You here. Both of you here. Make your major moves. That's a, that's a, that's a river. It's not a river. It's a lake. How is Rush doing, by the way? You're still losing to Poland, which is hilarious. But I do... Also, I'm surprised that um, Austria hasn't intervened in the war at all. But I want... I want Russia now to stay out of the war. 
At this point, Russia, I think, only harms us. Look how many, look, there's so many Japanese troops here. We have lost 1.2 million against Japan, but Japan's lost twice as many men as we have. Which is horrible. Like, that is very embarrassing for them. Like, these are all about to be crushed. You can probably just come in here, kill these guys. Japan might just not have an army after this. That's entirely possible that they just, they just won't have a single unit. We already got them down to 30. I mean, we almost have more troops. We actually, we now we do have more troops than Japan does. And uh, while they're not all great, no, they could be better. Um, we might as well actually throw all the units on this now. Cut production of infantry weapons too, since we actually do have a 52,000 rifle stockpile. Which I think is going to be enough for us to safely develop at least one more 24 stack. Do we need more troops? Maybe, because I have no idea what, like, I mean, there's still, what, one, two, three, four, five, six countries in China? I, I don't know what their plans are post-Japanese invasion. Will Shandong and Anjing join back with me? I don't know. It's impossible to say. Oh, Japan. Oh, Japan. Yeah, I'm taking Black Vat of Vostok. Transmitter's almost been defeated. You can actually probably take the city, like, right now. Is there a city up to the north? There is. So, you know, let's go there. Like, I would be fine with... We have some other Japanese operatives. Stop trying to spy on me. I've captured two of your agents, and I don't even have a spy, spy agency. They must be really, really bad. Like, how do you get captured by somebody who doesn't have spies? Very impressive. Might as well go here, capture that region. You actually, you're the only troop in purple left, so you know, you might as well go into blue army. We'll have orange prepare an invasion to here. Why do I feel like you've gotten smaller, though? Did you always have 14 divisions? You probably did. I think the AI probably recalled all of their troops. I mean, Transmitter's only lost 12,000 men, but it's going to get worse for them for sure. You did take a port back. You know what? Good for you. You will get, what, seven soldiers out of there? Seven of the hundreds you had sent? Just an absolute defeat. Like, humiliating for the AI. Like, you, you had it in the bag. Okay, Blue, Blue Army doesn't have a battle plan. And I guess, I guess your battle plan is just... Prepare for the possible invasion of all the people who... Well, you know what, we might as well put troops on the border with people who we... Know we're not in the faction to begin with. So we'll prepare for these invasions. Um... We'll put you on the border with the federal government. But I, I can't imagine they're just going to be like, eh, you know what? You did a good job. We're going to get rid of all of our claims in your territory. We'll also have you guys prepared to invade Tibet. Because Tibet has... They, they, they didn't join the faction. So they deserve to lose. But like, the Chinese United Front... It's golden. Also, we did take the port back. Which is also just more embarrassment for the AI to have to deal with. You are going to get there soon. Three days. You're going to get there in two days. Should be do able to do that faster. Let's make more aircraft. And all of our planes. Uh, let's throw you here. You should get to this province to fight this guy first, right? You'll be there in one hour. Yeah, six hours is longer than that. 
As long as we can hold a fight for two more hours, I think that should be Vladivostok capitulated. It or not Vladivostok Transmere. Yeah, no, wonderful. Japan, it's been nice knowing you. Greece is capi who's Greece capitulated to? The Italians. Oh, but this really is an alternate history mod. Um, so we have four months. I mean, it kind of sucks that we just kind of have to, have to sit here for a few, for a little while. We've, we've killed everybody. Uh, Hunan, I will take your uh, equipment. Thank you very much. I, mean, I get 25 political power, and I don't really need it right now. I can't... Because full control over Zenyan. Which is you. So I can't actually integrate that until we have at least killed Hunan. Which shouldn't be an issue. I think. Hey, Russia. I... I, I mean, is there any point where we would invade the Russians? I don't think so. Mongolia has has some cores, but we're not we're not Mongolia. We are uh, we are the Qing. What are what do we have right now that's considered occupied? Mongolia, Transmere. You are now core states, I think. No, you're still colony state, but that should be resolved. Yeah, because we're trying to integrate that. It's going to take about two months. I had noticed I never got any of these attack or defense bonuses. I don't know what I was missing out on. But clearly, I was missing out on something. How close is Burma to capitulating? They're, they're, they've really not taken any uh, victory point loss at all. Yeah, I think Burma... Burma's probably going to... I mean, are they going to keep the faction even at this point? I don't think so. Oh, Japan. Because you guys are still defending. You might as well delete all your... Not all your old orders. But you might as well delete all of these. I, I can't imagine the AI... Not... I can't imagine them invading you again. But I, I can't imagine the... Um, the Japanese being able to effectively evade. Like, they can't do what they did in... 1940, like late 1940, I think. They can't do that again. It's just not viable. They don't have the troops to pull that off. Anytime they attack us, we can easily counterattack. You know, and I, I, I don't think we'll... We can take over Burma if we annex the whole thing. But will we annex the whole thing? I, I, I don't think so. You know, let's clean up a handful of these troops. I mean, they say they're invading Korea. The Internationals even invaded the French Republic. They're they're doing very well. Not in Germany. Germany kind of hasn't budged at all. But I say, I feel like they're doing a lot better than average. We have eight divisions here. They're in a. Let me just see. They have. 31 divisions. There's six right there. They have landed troops down in the south. So, you know, let, you can go deal with that. I, I'm sure that's fine. Okay, so let's get them killed. And you know, we took less than a million men. Less than a million men against Japan. I know that. I know it doesn't include people we lost to the Vanny government. It doesn't include people we lost to the southern governments. But even just against Japan, I still think only losing 700,000 men is still pretty good. Uh, so we got you guys from Anshing. Yeah, because I just think the AI is has the capacity to um, deal with any invasions in their actual territory at this point. At least they, they should be. Because, I mean, there's no other front line for them to be at. Yeah, so you are going to be wiped out. And if they invade Korea? Okay. They're actually moving troops even up to uh, Chikalin. Yeah, let's integrate you. Integrate, 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 integrate. Give me those cores. How much are we losing political power? 
Eh, not actually that much. Like, maybe 0.12. All we can really do, I think, is try to rush our way down to Ragoon. Because if we can kill Burma before the 99 day uh, uh, expires, I believe we should be able just to annex them. You move here. I guess you could do uh, Taogu. You make your way to Sitwe. Are these how you pronounce those cities? Oh, probably like absolutely not. Yeah, it's like, oh, they landed troops here. Like we outnumber them, two million to six hundred thousand. It's the, Burma almost has as many troops as the Japanese do. To put it in perspective, and the Japanese they land more troops. They land troops in Pyongyang. Okay. Does that matter? I doubt it, because again they need to take over all three regions that we have um, occupied: Vladivostok, North and South Korea. And the AI is more than willing to send troops over here to deal with the uh, naval invasions. So them, them sending naval invasions only harms them. Like it doesn't harm, harm. It doesn't harm anybody else. And I get having Burma, just a nice little uh, cherry on top. So there's another dangerous naval invasion. Do I have any troops? I could send... I'll send like a handful of units. To go deal with uh, the Korean situation. Even though, again, I, do, I don't think it's necessary. We can also send green up that way as well in the future. Gone Burma down to 77. You're worth 10, which is by far your most important victory point. Yeah, no, this, it, it's all going, I was going to say according to plan, which I don't think is necessarily uh, the cor correct. Yeah, Canis annex the Adin Pact. We have two, no, not, th no, two and a half more months until the war is over. Our allies, of course, are going to be able to take over the rest of the Japanese territories. As soon as they take over the port in Pyongyang, it's going to be even worse for the Japanese unless they go to... Busan, because I don't think Seoul has a port. I actually don't even know Seoul's a uh, coastal city. You guys are making your way down south. I think the AI is probably releasing the countries in the north. Yes, they are. I'm not too sure. I think Italy might just kill the French Republic. Like, Serbia, you're, you are you are in the Russian faction, but you just don't have any uh, neighbors. That's not, but you make your way over here. What are you doing? You, okay, I, I did have that plan there. You don't need to be there. Just, just go to the actual front line and against the federal government. But I do think for right now that this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks very much for watching, my handsome. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, Joey, Chloe, thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.